Hey, I'm here to fill you in on tips, tricks, and activities at PSU. I'm Kenny Katz, and this is Portland State's Weekly Scoop. First on our list, we take a trip to the Backspace Cafe, and I brought my friend, Nolan, to check it out. Yeah, I'm a Portland State University student, work here at Backspace, uh, Northwest 5th and Cooch. We have uh, a 10 box LAN room for internet gaming, um, we do live shows and events uh, five days a week, um, rotating art every first Thursday full kitchen menu with a vegan, vegetarian, and meat option. Also every last Sunday of the month, we've got the PSU Fiction Writers Series, uh, followed by the Portland Poetry Center. Uh, my band played there once um, about a month ago. Um, one of the greatest shows we've played was there. Coffee's good, art. Um, you had a good birthday? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a place to go with great coffee, live shows, computers, and art, Backspace is the place for you. Now we get a look at a cheap theater. This is Monica, and she's going to fill you in on the Cinemagic Movie Theater. I'm here at Cinemagic. Um, I just got from PSU at West 14th, uh, 4th and Madison. Um, just saw King's Speech. It was fantastic. Love the theater. Uh, really charming, old, but very comfy seats. A little squeaky, but it was adorable. Cheap snacks. As for King's Speech, I would recommend it. Didn't it win like best something, best motion picture, best actor? Yeah, that's what it won. Um, so Colin Firth is great. British people with speech impediments also make for a good movie. So we should come to Cinemagic. The Cinemagic Theater may be old, but it's a nice and comfortable experience. Student tickets are just $4.75 for all shows, which is pretty cheap. And if you don't mind seeing films a few weeks after their release, it's a definite must. Lastly, we come to Ground Control. I brought another friend, Robbie, to check this insane retro arcade out. Ground Control hosts many game titles ranging anywhere from X-Men, Tempest, The Simpsons, Donkey Kong, Joust, Asteroids, Mario Brothers, and Galaga. Arcade hosts different DJs and rock band nights that are open to the public. Just watch out because it turns into a bar around 5 o'clock. Uh, it was a lot of fun. They have a lot of retro, rare games downstairs, but it's mainly the old classic games. And upstairs, it's nothing but a pinball machine. But it kind of stinks because uh, after five, it turns into a bar. So if you're a minor, you know, you're out of luck. <laughs> there you have it. Three cheap activities close to campus that are easily accessible at any given time. This has been this week's Portland State Weekly Scoop.